Let's talk about the COVID-19 vaccine mandate that went into effect on October 1st. Do you have to get vaccinated? And what are the exceptions to vaccination if you're trying to adjust status? I'm getting this question a lot, so let's talk about it after the break. Welcome to Law Great. This is the channel where I give you reliable information to help you make better decisions and avoid costly mistakes on your immigration journey. Today, we're talking about the COVID-19 vaccine mandate. Okay, who has jurisdiction over whether or not you, in your adjustment of status process, so you're trying to get a green card, need to get the COVID-19 uh, vaccine? Complicated question, but the short answer is one you wouldn't think of. It's the CDC, the Center for Disease Control. CDC tells civil surgeons who then work with the USCIS, what vaccines they need to administer. So currently COVID-19 is put on the same ledger as all the other vaccines you would have had to get before to adjust status. There are three exceptions that your civil surgeon can use to exempt you from the COVID-19 vaccine. The civil surgeon looks at, is the vaccine age appropriate? So as of this writing, the CDC guidance says that any children under 12 are not required to get the COVID vaccine. That's under 12. Although, although we know that the vaccine for five to 12 year olds is now available. So you have to expect that that guidance could change. Number two, is there some sort of contraindication? A contraindication might mean that you had a very severe reaction to a COVID-19 vaccine shot earlier you know, at some point in 2020, 2021, and maybe you can't get it now, but this is again, very narrow. And the third option is, is it available? If the vaccine is not available, then you might not have to take it, okay? The third option is not going to be a grounds of, uh, uh, you know, accepting you here in the United States, but let's talk about consulates. Right now, we do know that some consulates are mandating vaccines. So I know for a fact that Juarez Consulate in Mexico is requiring all immigrant visa applicants to get the vaccine. This is also true in other posts, both for K-1 applicants who are non-immigrant uh, applicants and immigrant visa applicants. So if you're overseas, you should expect to see that this mandate is being put in place. Again, the same sort of exceptions can apply, but the exceptions that you're gonna be seeing overseas uh, could be done on a case by case basis. We have no way to review what the consulate accepts, what it does not. And so, uh, you know, if you're a consulate applicant, the best advice I can give is just, you know, go get the vaccine. Don't worry about the exceptions. I have had, you know, talks with some of my clients who are really worried about giving the vaccine to children between ages of five to 12. One client said, you know, I don't want my child to be a guinea pig. All I can tell you is, um, I've, you know, vaccinated my child. Um, no child is really a guinea pig, right? The, the, the testing on this has been extensive. And really, if you want a green card, okay, the most straightforward thing for you to do is go ahead and vaccinate. That means your children and you. Now, the CDC guidance right now says that if you're under 12, you know, it might not be seen as age appropriate and civil surgeons can technically use that to provide an exception for children. Uh, but that's true as of today. This is Monday, uh, you know, November 7th. It might not be true when you're watching this video. So what you want to check out is the CDC guidance, uh, which I flashed up multiple times on the screen and I'll provide a link in the bottom of the video. So I hope that helps. Have a great day. This is Law Great, Damien DeNoble. If you like this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, let other people know about it, let other people know this information. And it's great to see you on this beautiful Monday.